All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna start off by giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak And uh, that means the Heavenly Father's name and uh, in the name of His Son, in the Holy, in the name of the Holy Spirit, man. Yeah, uh, me and the brother, we just walking down the block, man. Uh, a lot of demonic ass activity. Fucking uh, the lights out on this whole block, and it's like you can you can already tell in the spirit. Like uh, when things like this happen, it's just like a, a little test from the Lord and from these uh, these elites that Esau does to see how people will react, man. You know, because when shit actually starts to crack, man, these people they they gon' they gonna lose their damn mind, man. You know. Yeah, you know, it um, you know the scriptures say, man, that uh, you know that there's gonna be um. You know, one people shall fight against another in the, in the second Ezra, and uh, you know that's a when you uh, see these like situations where you know a, a power, you know, a, you know, a power goes out, you know, because this whole like little section of my neighborhood is uh, completely um, it, it's a blackout right now basically, and um, you know at first you know everybody's gonna be cool, you know, they're just gonna be doing things as business as usual, but give it a, literally a day or two. And these people are, are gonna, you know, they're gonna lose it. You know, they're gonna start getting into their uh, uh, doggy dog mode. You know, they're already in that mind frame, but it's gonna get real hectic out here. You know, the strong is gonna prey on the weak. Yeah, uh, cause like, uh, so like, uh, but like in that movie, the, the movie, uh, what was it called, The Happening? It kind of shows you that people were a product of their environment. They like went a little bit extreme to say we were attached, and though we are attached to everything, uh, far spiritually, but. People are only so-called cool right now because they have uh, most of what they they want. You know, they have their, their food, is that, and the third, uh, necessities, wants, needs. Uh, but when they start to lose all that, they're going to become a product of, of their environment. Just like, you know, how uh, Esau put niggas in that, man. We were so-called, you know, uh, righteous people, you know. We had the laws and the statutes of the Most High. And... This man has diminished us to fucking nothing to being niggards, man. And guess what? These people out here, they're going to be extra niggards, man. Everybody else is going to be a niggard, man. I was thinking about this while I was at work today, man. You're going to have bands. You're going to have uh, lots of bands and gangs, man. You know? Yeah. And they show you that in all these movies, man. You know, like The Purge. You know, uh, um, you know these apocalyptic, apocalyptic movies like The Book of Eli. You know, The Road. You know, these people... They, they form bands and gangs, man, immediately, okay? That's why uh, it says there's going to be sedition amongst men. That's right. You know, they're going to be, a, 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 you know, a, a, um, one people shall fight against another. Because there's going to be all sorts of, like, race wars, class wars, food uh, uh, riots. All these things are going to happen. And it said the reason why, it says uh, later down in that uh, in 2nd Ezra 15, that the reason why this is happening is because of, uh, for the pride of the city. And also for the lack of uh, uh, bread and for great tribulation all right these things are going to occur because like how the brother was saying their basic necessities are going to be t uh, stripped away from them okay and they're not ready these people they really believe that america is going to live forever you know what is that psalms uh, what is that 49 and 11 yes uh, psalms 49 and 11 yeah they, they're ending with thought is that their houses shall continue forever that's right you know and um you know these people really believe that america is just going to keep lasting like there's going to be no you know, damage done to this place, so to speak. You know, but we know through uh, biblical prophecy that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, and before that, great trials and tribulations are coming. These people are gonna, you know, uh, they're gonna become savages out here. You know, they always talk about that in the rap, you know, uh, songs and all that. Hey, these people are really gonna be savages, man, and beasts, man. And, and, and what's so bad about it, man? A lot, bro. I was talking to Jake today on the job. Uh... They was mostly speaking. I didn't bring up any subjects, man. I really just mainly listened, man. You know? Uh, but one of the Jakes, he was like, man, like, he basically said he had calmed. It was a couple just said that they had calmed down, man. But they was like, they, you could tell, like, they still had a lot of anger in them. They, they was talking about, uh, like, they don't know what they, like, shit. They was be, like, if somebody, like, uh, disrespected them so much on the job and they was about to get ready to get into a fight, they be ready to lose their job. And they, like, shit, they'll fucking grab anything to just fucking just make sure they, they got to see blood. <laughs> yeah. So how much more Like if these niggas ready to do this over a job That they about to lose Or if they feel like they they, be, they feel threatened That somebody's about to put them into 
uh, they're putting their back against the wall to where they have to fight. How much more are they gonna do when when shit starts to crack, man? When they gotta feed families, cause all these these guys had families, man. When they like when a motherfucker ha has a family, not even that. Just people are extra fucking selfish these days, man. They have the spirit of Esau, man. They owe their father to the devil. That's right. And like it says in uh in some in not songs, but uh it's like a John eight and forty four, man. You have a, you are all you of your father the devil, man. Cause they have that that selfish pride like spirit to where they feel like they can't be stopped so they they they, they can only get carnal and they feel like shit they got to look out for them themselves man and they'll never choose the spirit man that's right that's right man you know hey you know the, these people um what does it say in the scriptures man the uh the righteous is more excellent excellent than his neighbor but the wicked seduced him exactly hey, these people they 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 follow the ideology of uh esau man you know not helping your neighbors you know that uh, um, you know uh, that doggy dog you know mentality, that uh, instant gratification you know uh, mind frame. These people are all like Esau. They'll do anything just to get ahead. All right. And they, they, these people are, are, are wicked and, and and just straight monsters out here, man. You know. That's why when this stuff goes down, it's just gonna be so hor horrific. Especially here in America, because everyone. Uh, what is this? Um. Uh, what is it? The. Um, what is it in Ezekiel, the, the village, the unwalled village? Yeah, yeah, the city of unwalled villages, man. Yeah, and it says there's something else, man, where it talks about how basically this place is in peace, man. It's a, it, it dwells in mirth, man. That's, that's one of the reasons you know? why it calls uh, this land a virgin, man, you know? Because for one, it has never really known war. It's never really known war. You can't really count the civil war. That was the actual war between itself. It's never known an outside war with outside entities. Man, I went to the fucking uh, I went to the liquor store like not not too long ago. Uh, it was like a um, it's like probably like a few days ago, man. And, uh, this one guy, he was talking to these two nigga women that worked there. Um, he was telling them like uh, what was going down in Jordan, man. He's like, you know, they, they like they try to like you know still keep it like make uh when they sell it off far as um trying to get tourists to come there they make it seem like it's peaceful because they still want tourists to come there but it's like yes yeah, this this shit happened like these motherfuckers got off all that shit he was saying all that shit man now that's the average that goes on in the middle east people are always used to what's going on in another country man people ride in greece motherfuckers getting shit going on in france but nothing uh as far as a war or anything like that or any type of destruction has really came to america Niggas getting gunned down in the street isn't anything. There's no there it's gonna be class wars, man. It's gonna be fucking uh it's gonna be every single type of war you can think of between this man and the third until the nukes come and that's gonna be that nuclear destruction of that nuclear war. You know? Yeah, hey, and that's that why, blood. Exactly, and that's why us men of the Lord and you know, and those that that listen and believe, hey, we gotta pray to Yahweh about Shimmy out shy. And ask for, uh, you know, God, first and foremost, repentance. You know, or just not repentance. Uh, ask for forgiveness, you know, for our iniquities. And ask Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to guide us and protect us in those days. You know, even now, but especially in those days to come, man. Because this stuff is about to get real chaotic. It says in Daniels that it's going to be like a time like any other, man. All right? These things are about to, uh, it's about to get real ugly out here. And the only way that you're going to survive is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's right. That's it. You know, he, 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 he's our rock, man, and our refuge, man, our salvation. We, we can't do this alone. This is, this is going to be something that we, we need divine intervention. There's no way you're going to get around any of this stuff, man. You know, divine intervention has to uh, 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 come to play. Because this place, man, once it goes down, it's going to go down in the worst fashion ever, man. Yeah, right. You know? It, it calls Jacob a worm, man. It says uh, Jacob is a worm, man. How can a worm defend itself, man? Yeah, we do need divine intervention, man. That's why it says that the Spirit of the Lord, it says the enemy shall come in like a flood. And the, and the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them, man. That's right. That, that means the Lord is going to fight for us, man. It's going to be it's gonna be a spirit that's going to come up and it's going to defend us. Because you know what? We should, we, we're trying to turn away from a fight, man. And that's going to be the spirit of my next lesson. Lord willing, I've been thinking about this all day, man. That uh, the, the type of man that, that seeks peace and turns away from the fight, you know, that avoids the fight as much as possible. 
the Lord is going to have to defend that man. Whether he, he give him some type of strength or he send an angel, send another brother. The Lord is going to defend that man, man. This is like the Lord has been doing, man. The Lord got us, man. All we got to do is keep on doing what he wants us to do. Let, let these people know that the, that the Lord is coming back. Practice his ways, man. Be a fucking king in this, in this fucking wicked society, man. Because we bring him back. Uh, we bring him back manliness, man. We bring him back the, the standard of the Lord, actually. Righteousness. Righteousness. We bring him back kingly ship, priestly ship, man. That's We're right. turning back to the old ways. That's right, man. You know, and, and we just got to keep fighting, you know, and just, you know, uh, uh, uh. Stay away from this world, man, as much as possible. Let these people die. It was the same in Second Ezra, man. Um, I believe uh, the ninth chapter said that, that basically there's going to be many of them that perish. Yeah. You know, uh, um, it, you know, uh, um, I forgot how it's worded. You know how it's worded? In, uh, in, it is, what inquired not how? Yeah, the, there we uh, go. The, how the ungodly? Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't inquire on how the uh, ungodly shall uh, perish. You know, don't worry basically about how the godly shall perish, but inquire I, I how the it. righteous shall be uh, saved, man. All right, that's the things that we need to focus on. Hey, a lot of these, first and foremost, only Israelites are going to get saved. All right? Huh. And then, um, look, two-thirds of our people are going to die, which that's the majority of them. And then all the heathens that are left here are going to die. Don't worry about them. Let them, you know, you know, uh, uh, die a horrific death. Let them, you know, let their uh, um, snares and pits you know, uh, um, you know, destroy them, okay? Yeah, it says, uh, let them, it also says, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, man. Yeah. Because they, like, they were, the things that they do, like, come on, man. The things they do are vain. They were born to do vain things. They weren't born to come in this truth. You were born to either be a scoffer, be some nigga in the world, be a nigga that think he in the truth and scoff. Or, you know, just basically you were meant to fucking die, man. And without a purpose, not be a martyr for the Lord. <laughs> That's a vain thing, man. Huh. Ah, you know, so uh you know, you know, we just wanted to do a quick lesson on, you know, this situation cuz you know, it just you know that it's a you know, it's just the spirit, man, you know. We were just, you know, thinking about it and just talking, to, you know, about it amongst ourselves so we decided to do this lesson, you know. Hey, these times, you know, of Jacob's trouble are coming very soon. You know, we got to uh you know, stay prayed up. You know, we got to uh, have faith. And we just got to let the Lord protect us and, you know, fight this fight for us, you know. And uh, even with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, brothers. Shalom. Shalom.